as we have Sergio Gutierrez from TKO MMA and United BJJ. He is ready for action. And now his opponent makes his way to the cage, representing Texas Third Coast Martial Arts, Francisco Rosas. Francisco Rosas, ready for action. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this match is being contested in the Blue Belt 135 pound division. Your referee in charge, Jose Yanis. This match is officially underway. With the multicolored green. I said solid black. Well, actually, Sergi is wearing the is in the blue. Francisco with a ankle red ankle band. Yeah, both both competitors right here, pummeling right now from this inside position, looking to get their tie ups, their preferred tie ups right here, to set up how they're going to get it to the ground with their favorite move sets. Right there, a little double leg. Yeah, I can always appreciate to see when the competitors go for the submission, I mean, excuse me, for the uh, takedown. They're already Sergio going for a guillotine choke, but in the process of the scramble, this is it. Going for the Kimura, can he finish it? Yeah, he's very deep right here. He uses that, he uses that Kimura, though. Puts it in combination now to take the back. Classic Kimura trap series, you know what I'm saying? And now he's going to go ahead and enjoy this back take position that he's got now. Francisco Rosa scrambling out of harm's way for the Kimura, but ends up in a even worse position with the back take. Right now, Sergio Gutierrez threatening with the rear naked choke. Yeah, for sure. Sergio Gutierrez just staying patient right here. Now he goes, and going to, he goes into this body triangle position, making it even more tight right there, around the, right there around the stomach, right there around the abdomen, taking his time, being patient with this back control position. Very early in the match right now, too. Yeah, Ricky, I mean, they're not even with the sweat yet. Oh, that's across the jaw. Those are painful. Yeah, he's, he's cranking on that one right there. But, for, but Rosas, he stays, he, stay, he stays calm right there. He needs to go ahead and get his shoulders to the floor, continue working his defensive tactics. But he's got to protect his neck right here. Gutierrez, he's squeezing. And Gutierrez is just putting the hurt on for Rosas with those choke attempts. That's an uncomfortable spot. See if you can shake your opponent off and open up that opportunity for the to finish the choke. Yeah, this body triangle is a very, very, very tricky, tricky, tricky spot to be stuck in. You know what I'm saying? Defensively for Francisco Rosas, you know what I'm saying? He literally just got to keep trying to wiggle and get his shoulders to the floor, turn into him, try to break the lock. You know what I'm saying? And then for Sergio, Sergio Gutierrez, just keep in that position and then keep offensive and keep attacking the neck. Nightmare of a position to be in for Rosas. For sure, it's a nightmare of a position for the person who's stuck in there. And it's a great position for the dude that's using it, you know what I'm saying? For me, you know, every, in many of my UFC fights, many of my MMA fights, you know what I'm saying? Shoot, I get to this body lock, body, body lock with the figure four body lock triangle right here. Man, I love this one right now, you know what I'm saying? Well, you watch that at home, there's a lot of energy being expended from Rosas just to defend everything that's going. And Sergio Gutierrez with a modified rear naked choke across the jaw scores big there with the submission. Yeah, he got aggressive with that choke right there, you know. Kind of cooked him from that back position, cooked him, cooked him, stayed patient. Then he cranked on the neck right there. That was great. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner by rear naked choke, Sergio Gutierrez. Congratulations to Sergio Gutierrez.
on his submission victory here tonight. Two grappling matches down, two submissions, Ricky. How do you like it? I love it, I love it, I love it. These competitors are coming out here tonight at Elevate FC, and they're putting on great shows. They're going for the, they're going for the finish. 